Good afternoon, everyone. Vic Amen here with another King of TV Bowling Sweeper Series. Today we are at Brentwood Bowl for their summer finale. As we've got a couple power players in store for you, they are warming up as we speak. Uh, we got a couple highlights to show you. Let's take a look at Nicholas Vogelsang here going for an Andy Verapapa 300. Congratulations to Nicholas. Your hard work is paying off. All right, as these two are continuing to warm up for the finale, uh, we'd like to thank the fans that came out this evening to Brentwood Bowl. Uh, we had a little something in store for them, courtesy of Lane One Bowling Products and Strike Lane Pro Shop. Uh, we had a free ball giveaway. Every uh, participant that entered into the Sweeper Series tonight got a chance for a 15-pound Lady Buzzsaw. And we had our drawing. Tonight's winner was Daniel Hawkins. Congratulations, Daniel. We'd like to thank Lane One Products and Strike Lane Pro Shop. Okay, well this evening's finale is going to feature Jordan Racky versus Joel Ray. Uh, we're going to get a look at Jordan first on the left-hand lane. Uh, Jordan, another one of the uh, modern two-hand style bowlers. It's going to bring a lot of power to the game. Throws so the first one up here, leaving a half ten. Uh, Jordan is out of the northern Kentucky area. He is a member of the Storm staff. So we've got a Bolt member here for you, Storm fans. So Storm Nation, we'll see if you can represent this finale. As Jordan brings the spare back nicely. I'm sure we all recognize this face, folks. One of the hottest hands in the area. Joel Ray. set in the right hand lane, lane 40, leaving the half seven. Joel is currently a free agent, folks, so if uh, one of you major ball companies out there are taking notice, you might want to pick this guy up because he has been on fire. Can really represent. As Joel brings that spare back. He was formerly on staff with Brunswick, and currently, as we stated, is a free agent. Joel on lane 39, flush in the one-two pocket, and he gets on the board here, putting a little pressure on Jordan. Uh, Joel in practice. Didn't like the way a couple balls were looking. Switched back to the kinetic. That seems to have been his favorite the last couple weeks. Uh, he threw that at Gilmore Lanes and uh, as well as Corain Bowl and then switched to the code red. As Jordan swishes the rack here, getting that light wally, hitting him thin to win, as Slam and Sam used to say. Jordan gets on the board. We are all even in a second. We'd like to thank everybody that stopped on out to Brentwood this evening. We had an awesome turnout. Uh, just totally shocked and surprised that everybody that came out this evening it really shows the tri-state bowling is alive and well in the area. And we want to thank you for coming out to represent. As Jordan throws on lane 39. Good pitch there. Going a tad high, leaving the four pin. As we stated earlier, this is on the Brentwood Bowl house pattern. As we had 40 bowlers this evening which is a great turnout on a Wednesday night. So thank you again. Jordan bringing the spare back. All right here. 
Joel's going to line up here on lane 40. Let's see if he can keep the pressure on. Getting the light mixer, shaking him up. We'd like to thank uh, Gary Christie out here at Brentwood Bowl and the gang out here. They uh, got this place looking top notch. If you are looking for a center this winter, please contact Gary out here at Brentwood Bowl and he'll get you lined up with a men's league, women's league, mixed couples, or a youth league. This Joel looks like he made a touch of a mistake, but was fortunate enough just to leave the single pin leave. Leaving the A pin. Just didn't like the way that one felt off his hand, but wasn't that bad of a shot. As he brings the easy single pin sprayer back. Folks, you too can participate in these sweepers. Uh, as we stated, this is the final one tonight of the summer at Brentwood Bowl. But Gilmore Lanes will be continuing through the winter. Uh, you can participate in their Sunday morning sweeper at 1 o'clock. Uh, give Chris Woods a holler out there at Gilmore Lanes. He'll get you directions and whatnot. As Jordan trips out the 10. Got a little love tap there. Let's see if he can get on that strike train. And as well, at Coring Bowl at 6.30, it is week two of the Halt the Hitmen series. Uh, you can stop on out to Coring at 6.30 and participate in their sweeper. Uh, be sure to get your chance to be one of the Cincinnati snipers to bowl against the uh, PBA Tour Hitmen out at Crossgate Lanes on August 22nd. As Jordan winds one up here on lane 39, he doubles up, putting some pressure on Joel Ray. You can contact Todd McGill out of Corey Bowl at 385-8500. And he'll give you details on the sweeper and the uh, Halt the Hitman event out of Crossgate Lanes on August 22nd. All right, let's see how Joel handles that little bit of pressure here. Well, that looks good, folks. Flush in the one, two. Joel Ray, he is off to the races. We were starting to wonder if a little bit of fatigue was going to be setting in with these bowlers. It's been a long evening. We had a little bit of a format change, but nothing that these bowlers can't handle. Uh, some great qualifying scores and some awesome match play. Joel winds up on 39, going high, tripping out the six pin. Well, I'll tell you what, when a guy like Joel gets breaks like this, he is just near impossible to beat. It's tough enough to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Joel Ray, but when he's tripping stuff out, you're going to have to bring it to him. All right, let's see if Jordan can continue to put some pressure on. Jordan Rack, lane 40. Great shot. Leaving the smash 10. Folks, he couldn't have thrown it any better than that. Just not getting the break. Carry the corner. As he changes to a harder surface friction ball. We'll bring the spare back. And he does so. Don't hurt him, Jordan. Nicking the uh, 10 pin there. Folks, also a reminder, this Monday, uh, Western Bowl will not be having their weekly sweeper due to uh, maintenance. Uh, you can stop back out there the following week and contact Ted Burns for further info. As Joel gets set here on the right-hand lane, he is in complete control of this match at this point. Jordan just not quite getting the pin carry. Joel with another nice pitch. Flushing the 1-2 again. 
folks, we have another event coming up on August 11th at Colerain Bowl. Uh, starting at 6 o'clock, they're going to have the Evanite uh, demo days. Uh, Dave Block is going to be out there. Hank Hetz, one of the original Shanling All-Stars. He's going to make a small appearance as well as a couple other guests. Uh, you can stop on out there to Colerain and try out the latest and the greatest that uh, EBI has to offer. As Joel throws his pitch here. Another shot in the 1-2. This guy's tough. Uh, you can try out the Kinetic that Joel's throwing, the Ruby Kinetic, uh, a couple of the Mavericks, Maverick Pearl, and some other great balls that EBI is featuring. Hopefully the uh, Gold Black Widow will be out there. So give Todd McGill a call at uh, 385-8500, and he'll give you further details on that Ebonite Demo Days out of Corey and Bowl. Jordan Racky, right hand lane, leaving another 10 pin. I'll tell you what, folks, he just... Keeps putting the ball in the pocket, but can't seem to get anything to fall. And at this point, Joel is off to the races and, quite frankly, could be shooting at a rather large pace. Missing wide, going into the channel, and not what you want to do against a guy like Joel Ray. Small mistake there by Jordan could quite cost him this match. I mean, he was staying clean for a while there, but that open is going to be costly. Let's see if he can get back on here on lane 39. Oh, another great pitch, getting another bad break, leaving the 4 9. Yeah, Jordan just cannot catch a break today. And that's how this game can go sometimes. You just uh, never know. He changes balls. Going for the conversion and only getting one. So he's nine out. And back-to-back -back opens against Joel. And that's pretty much going to seal the victory for Joel. I mean, he just has to stay within the building and stay out of trouble. And he's locked another one up. So he goes on 40. Another flush one-two shot. Joel going at a 270 pace at this point. Just pretty much a walk in the park here for Joel again. You know, he just keeps putting the ball in the hole and pins are falling for him. Joel Ray looking to finish it out here. Strikes again on 39. And it looks like if Jordan goes sheet, he will be in the 190s. Not what he was hoping for, but still will make it respectable. Folks, as we stated, you too could be the next featured champion on the King of TV Bowling Sweeper Series. Uh, make sure you stop on out to Gilmore Lanes this Sunday at 1 or Coring Bowl this Sunday at 6.30. Uh, it is a handicap event. Gilmore Lanes will be on their house pattern. Uh, Coring Bowl, I believe they are putting out possibly Badger this week. Could be up for debate. There's been talks of possibly running white two roller again with some with a different type of oil. But uh, contact Todd McGill for further info there. Uh, Joel leaving the seven pin there, and that puts him at 268. As Jordan finishes out on lane 40. Of course, now that the arm swing's all loose, the pins start to fall. Uh, another couple strikes here. Jordan will be in the 190s. So. Jordan gets set to finish out here. 
Another great shot on lane 40 for Jordan. Pressure's off, and here comes the smile. Well, one more strike here by Jordan, and I'll put him at 196. He will definitely be back, though. That's a good pitch there. And he fills it out. So, 196 for Jordan. And your winner today, Joel Ray, 268 to 196. This has been the Brentwood Bowl Wednesday Night Sweep.